Hey guys, this is going to be another quick Linux command video. Check the link in the description for more info and for copy and paste examples. The Linux iperf command is a tool used to test network performance. So if you don't have it installed on your system and you're running Debian or Ubuntu, just type uh, sudo apt install iperf and install it like that. I already have it installed on this system. Um, you should be able to install similar packages for Red Hat, Gen2, or whatever other path. Um, system you're running. So in any case, um, to, to start this out, um, you can you can test like a, a TCP connection or a UDP connection. Now, in this case, we're going to be um, opening a network connection from the current host to another, you know, another terminal on the current host. So we're just going to do network connectivity to the same host. But this is basically what you do if you wanted to test connectivity between two hosts. So anyways, um, we're going to start by starting a server hyper s so run this and this will start a tcp server so there we go so switching over to this uh, new terminal here uh, on this terminal we're going to go ahead and uh, start up a client so we're, we're going to go ahead and so first off i'm going to check my ip address because we're, we're going to have to so we have the server running. Now we're going to run a client, right? So we're going to have to check the IP address first. So IP A, and let's see here. So I've got a, this IP address, right? So we're going to go ahead and say I per dash C, and we're going to set, we're going to paste in the IP address of my, my uh, local host where I am right now. Uh, and um, not not the local host IP, but the, ho the IP for the host that I'm on right now, uh, where we're running the server. And let's run this. So, yeah, I'm, I'm capturing a separate window from the, the window that my server is running in. So, anyways, run this, and it will run a test for me here. So, yeah, you can see it says connected to here on this port. And it tells me my speed right here. So like 43.4 gigabits per second. And there you go, it tested the performance of the connection for me. So um, there's that. All right, so there we go. We have, uh, so we, we don't need this server. We've switched back to this other terminal where the server is running, the TCP server. And uh, yeah, it gives us the results here as well, not just in the client window. So we're gonna go ahead and kill this server. And now we're gonna try running a UDP server. So almost the same exact command, except we're gonna do dash U for UDP. And we're, we're gonna go ahead and start this server up. And now we're gonna go ahead and switch back over to the other terminal again and run a client. All right, so now that we are, uh, so we're, we're back on our client terminal here. And uh, so the previous command we, we ran was iperf-c to uh, do a TCP connection to um, the system that I'm on right now. Um, so this is our IP address. You know, if you're doing this on your system, specify a different IP address. If you are doing it on two different systems, you know, make sure you know which IP address you're using. So anyways, this is going to be a UDP connection and um, so to do this, so th this command right here would do our TCP connection. So if we want to make this UDP, unsurprisingly, you just add a dash U. Now this isn't going to give us everything we want. We're going to run this first. We're going to show you what's suboptimal about it, and then we're going to come back and fix it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And it's going to take a minute to run and do the test. And there we go, the test ran. Now we see we're only getting one megabit per second and we're not even connecting to a separate system. This is within the current system, so something's wrong here, right? And the thing that's wrong is that UDP has a one megabit limit in iperf by default. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, you, you can override this. That's because it's easy to, uh, you know, just kind of overdo things with, it, with uh, UDP. So um, we're, we can override this to above your bandwidth cap in order to actually test this. So we're just going to specify a value, whether or not this is my bandwidth cap. Um, let, let's say if your bandwidth cap is, is around, um, 
you, you know, a, a thousand megabits. So you can um, you, you can run the same command hyperf dash c and then dash u for UDP and dash b and do one thousand m for a thousand megabits, right? So run that. It's going to run the test again. And it takes just a few seconds here. Should be done soon. And there we go. It's telling us one gigabit. So uh, yeah, so we specified a thousand megabits, which is a gigabit. And it pushed us right up to a gigabit. So let's try to increase this by uh, up to like 10 gigabits. Or, um, y you know, I, I think let's just make this 100 because I'm pretty sure we're getting closer to 50. So 100 gigabits. Let, let's give this a try. Run this. Shouldn't take too, too long. Any time now. Going to be almost there. And there we go. So, okay. So no, nowhere near that level. So we, we, we got a 4.48 gigabit. So that was our UDP speed. Now, I'm not going to get into why we get certain speeds or how to optimize things in this video. That's kind of uh, out of the scope of this video. Um, but I just wanted to show you the basics of the iperf command and there's a lot more a lot more you can do in terms of bandwidth and stuff like that and a lot more you can do even just with the iperf command we wanted to get the basic um, basic core stuff done and that's about everything I wanted to cover for today so so yeah that's uh basics of running a, a TCP client and server and a UDP client and server to test uh, to test network performance. So uh, yeah, basic intro to the iperf command and that's about it for today. Remember, check the links in the description for more info. Hit the subscribe button for more useful content like this. We also have a ton of other more interesting content covering things like coding, hardware, software, servers, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, and a whole lot more. Hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.